Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a quick little, oh, I don't know how quick it's going to be, a little first impression of some new products that I got. I got the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. The Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. And also the Makeup Forever HD, high de or HD Powder or the High Definition Powder. Uh, I recently went to Luxembourg and they have a Sephora there, so I picked up these products there. So if you want to see my first impression, just keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to do is apply the primer. I'm going to do it on half of my face just to see if there's any difference. I'm going to use the prime side here uh, just to see how it covers like the pores and smooths uh, everything. And it comes in like a tube like this. And it comes out like a skin colored um, primer. Just gonna light around my nose. Like how it feels now. It, my skin feels really smooth. It's kind of like a silicone primer. I don't know if it's contained silicone or not. But it also is a good thing to try out the foundation because I have a spot right here. But as it looks now, it blurs my skin uh, really well, like around the pores, and it feels really smooth. Then I'm going to open uh, the Mark Jacobs foundation. It's the, again, Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation in the color Ivory Light. And of course, I needed the lightest shade, because I'm pretty pale. It says it's a radiant finish, and it's like sheer, but it's buildable at least. The woman at Sephora told me that um, this foundation is share, you can put it on share, but also build it up, like if you wanted more coverage. Trying to open it with the sticker, and it comes in a bottle like this. It comes in a nice glass bottle, and it's at 30 mil. Comes with a cap and a pump, of course. So it's a little annoying. It's the pump is on this side and the writing is this side, but it doesn't matter. This comes in like a frosted glass packaging. Feels very heavy. Feels luxurious in your hand. Hopefully, it feels like slippery. So hopefully, I'm not gonna drop it on the floor. So let's see on the back of my hand, like how it. It is a little runny. But like the color seems nice because it's very pale. It feels, as you can see, it's very light, but I'm quite fair. So, like the consistency, it feels thicker than I expected. Because I expected like a um, little thinner consistency because it's going to be sheer. But we will see. I'm going to use the Beauty Blend to try to blend it out. Maybe this finish is like a tiny bit too light for me now, but it's better that it's a little too light than too dark. And in the winter, I'm probably this shade anyways. Pale girl problem. <laughs> but at least it is a foundation that is pretty pale. And... Yeah. For me, I think it's covered more than I expect it to be covered. I don't know if you can see the difference between the redness around my nose a little bit and like under my eyes and I think it's covered way more than expected but I feel like if you're gonna have full coverage I think you need a lot of foundation. I'm gonna try to put it on the other side just to see how it compare it without primer or done my eye makeup so if, if you want a tutorial on that just let me know but finally I found a foundation that's quite light and I'm really happy about that Definitely see a difference in my pores, like my pores look much better on this side, so the primer definitely did their job. I'm just going to try to pack on some more, just to a place I want some more coverage, just to see how it builds. It 
I would say you could build up the coverage quite easily with this one if you like uh, the layers to dry in between. But of course, on like spots and such, you need to concealer. But yeah, that's something you would do anyways. But I actually really like it. It covers enough, but it also still looks natural. Like you can still see like my freckles and such. You probably can't tell, but if you can see, it covers good. And it feels light on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. So, so far, I'm really impressed. Now I'm going to put on some conce concealer. I'm just going to put uh, make a forever full cover camouflage concealer like under my eyes and this place I want to conceal a little more. Just like around here, like my pimple. Like this was like a big hype before on YouTube and I didn't try it, so I just bought like the little one. I'm going to try to set my under eyes with it using like this little uh, sponge from W7 and it comes now with like a different sifter like before I think it came differently so I'm just going to take the tape off Ooh. and it comes with kind of like a I don't know what kind of sifter you call this but it feels very soft if I like swatch it. It feels very soft. It's a talc powder or... The HD range includes complexion product designed for new needs of high definition image using very fine ingredients for an invisible natural makeup finish. It contains spherical microparticles which give the skin a perfect glowingly natural complexion. Its unusual soft touch formula produces an incredible velvet effect, talk free and not drying on the skin. It contains mineral silica powder and can be used in all skin types. Extremely fine and colorless. HD powder can be can be adapted to every skin tone. So it's talk free. So I'm just gonna try to dip my little in here. Let's see. Like that, I'm gonna try to put it under my eyes, and I can see right away actually the concealer uh, takes all the powder, so you can see where the concealer has been. I don't know how well you can see it, but you see right here it's a little darker because the concealer takes all the powder and I don't like that so let's see if you try to use like the setting brush from Real Techniques to see if it will Like my under eyes feels very soft, but I think maybe I'll use another concealer next time, even though it's the same brand. I think it's because it's darker than the foundation a little bit. And just use like a powder brush for the rest of my face. But I don't feel like I get easily a lot of products out of this. It's really messy, this type of sifter, because if I do it like this, you have to kind of tilt the product a little bit to manage to get something on it. But it sets the foundation fine, like, I don't know if this is my favorite powder for this particular foundation. 
because it kind of makes some places look a little dry like around my nose and such and I don't like what's going on under my eyes I don't know if I have to do my makeup all. my makeup is done this is how the final look looks like like you can see like the uh, foundation matches me really well with the color like it's really pale so for you pale girls out there if you want to have a good foundation that is pale enough for you this is the foundation you can try out and yet again, if you want a makeup look on this eye right here, just let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!